I forgot to add the picture for the broadcast in YouTube. It's okay. All right, so I'm live right now, supposedly in Ramble and in YouTube. Uh, let us see YouTube. <coughs> Ramble for sure it's working. And YouTube is working. All right, but we have zero people there. Nobody noticed yet. <laughs> because I'm not uh, really... Uh, uh, there's no image in the... Oh, now I see the image. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, let's invite our friends. And if we have any Abdul would like to join us. Um, I found the video from Zakir Naik saying the biggest blessing uh, for a Muslim is to be a Muslim. And I wonder what is the blessing in, in that, you know? If there is any Muhammad I would like to tell us really, is it true that there is a blessing for you to be a Muslim? Like what is the blessing we are talking about? You heard the new bill, Trudeau want to implement. What is the new bill? Yeah, this Trudeau is mental. But, you know what? Uh, I wanna. I don't wanna blame the guy. You know, I mean, Canadian obviously they have. You know, they have issues. All right, we want Muslims, not anyone. Uh, please don't put your hand up unless you are a Muslim. Only Muslims. Rumble has no sound. Let us see. No sound. Why no sound? Are you sure? Doesn't make sense. Okay, hold on. Let us see. Uh, property. Audio, audio. Okay. Hmm. What is that? What about YouTube? Do you have sound on YouTube? CP, we hear you on Rumble. I don't know what he's saying. I went to test. All right. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, maybe some people, they have, uh, you know, shaitan genie, he slept in their nose or, you know, pee in their ears. All right, so, see you guys. You are taking advantage of me because I'm an Arab and naive, right? Like you say whatever you want for me, I'm like Muhammad, you know, I'm an ear. Any story you tell me, you know, I believe it. Mm. So you don't have sound, I believe you, for me. All right, I got it. Play games, play games. You know, there's once... Um, well, there's no hate of speech. This is good. That means they should block every, every mosque. <laughs> you see, if Christians are smart in Canada, they should use that law for their benefit. You can sue every Muslim mosque reading chapter 5, verse 51. Just do that. You know? The, the problem with the Christian, they just complain. They don't, they don't do anything. They complain, you know, look what he's doing, hate of his speech, you know, this is good. <laughs> we are against hate of speech. Who, who said, uh, you know, we are, yeah, that's good. You can ban Islam from Canada. Use it. Take them to court. Tell them, look what they teach in their, in their Quran. Take not Christians and Jews as friends. Don't be silly. <clears throat> Yeah, one of the uh, unique thing about some Christians, they complain. You know, it doesn't matter what happened around them. They, they just like cry. You know, you know, they see what happened. You see what, what you know, first of all, what, what do you do there? You know, I don't want to use the word potato, but sometimes I have it. Potatoes, like Muslims. Anyway. <clears throat>
like a guy who, you know, he cry, he cannot have babies because he never has sex with his wife. Oh God, give me baby, God. But he have no, you know, he's not going to take off his pant and do what he to need to do. You want God to give him a baby? Like God, give me a baby. <clears throat> Weirdo. Anyway, do we have any any, um, any Abdul? He have a blessing from Allah to be a Muslim. Want to explain to us how it is a blessing to be a Muslim? I would like to know. I'm really curious to know. I mean, music is haram. <clears throat> music is haram. Art is haram. Chess is haram. Uh, I don't know, I mean, movies are haram. Uh, TV is haram, unless it's playing Quran. Uh, women singing, men singing, haram. So I don't know what the blessing. Even, even farming is haram. Don't you know that farming is haram? Even farming is haram. So how Muslim you can even eat? If we say to the Indonesian Muslim, farming is haram, the whole nation will go bankrupt, will die a second day. So I want to know how a blessing is uh, happening to you if you are a Muslim. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Anything in Islam is haram. That's why there's no Muslims. You know, all those who claim to be Muslims, they're just a fraud. Yeah, farming is haram. Absolutely. Muhammad, he said, uh, he saw some agriculture tools He said, any tools like this, enter the house, any house, Allah will bring humility into it. Well, haram. If anyone have the link for the hadith, I'll post it. If not, I will find it. <coughs> Ah, I found it. <coughs> and this is Al-Bukhari, and you know, this is all very authentic. So Muslim cannot say this is not true. Here we go. So what is exactly halal in Islam? What is the blessing? Who feed the Muslim? The Muslim, they don't work. They attack their neighbors. They steal their food, their chicken, their goats, kidnap the women. This is why Muhammad don't want to have want them to have any agriculture equipment. Do you see it? We're not making things up. And this is the hadith number Bukhari two three two one. Search it. So how the Muslim they eat? What is the blessing? So if you follow the edict Muhammad step by step and you do what he say. I want to know where is the blessing. Hmm? Do we have any Abdul? Let us post the link for those who they are in Rambol. And we post the link for those who they are in YouTube. When we post the link for those who they are in Discord. I will spend the whole day posting links. I like this job. I applied for to work with Joe Biden posting links, especially in the election day. Today I saw women, you know, we talk about politics. I was helping her actually in, in Home Depot. She don't she had no idea what she is buying. 
And they said, you know, everything has became, she said, it's expensive. Last year it was, uh, before it was cheaper. I said, yeah, because Trump, it was cheaper. She said, no, but you know, I vote for Biden. I said, why you vote for Biden? He said, she have a heart. <laughs> Honestly. He said, to me, you have a heart. You have a heart. I said, Joe Biden have a heart. And who's going to pay your bills? His heart. I don't know what she meant that she have a heart, but eh. welcome to America. You have a heart. Look like Trump. You don't have one. I, I heard that Trump. He worked by, by kidney only. He have no heart. He doesn't want to make fun of her. You know. I mean, she wasn't young, so I was very polite with her, trying to explain to her that Biden is an idiot. Some people vote with emotion. Most of people in America, they vote with emotion. Not some. Americans are emotional. They are, I believe American originally they are from India. You know, in India, they love drama. Everybody is crying. You know, at one second, the view is like everybody dancing. Two minutes after, it's a funeral mood. It's like a Mexican mood. Actually, Indian, Arab, Mexican, <laughs> they are like the same same salad, you know? The, the, you go in the Middle East, you go to a house, they are watching a series. Even women are crying. Like, what the hell? What happened? Who died? You know? No, it's a TV, the TV, the what? <laughs> so if you go in the Middle East and you see people are crying, ah, But I like Indian movies anyway. Mr. White T S. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hi, Sissy. Um, no, no, I just I'm not a Muslim. Muslim. I, I just, just wanted to come here, here because Sissy asked, asked me to. Um, I'm, I'm interested, interested in translating your books into Brazilian Portuguese. Portuguese. So, so if, if you'd, you'd like me to, to and um, we have. We have, I think, I have one in Portuguese already, I think, or two, not sure. I forgot. Okay. You can check in Amazon and see, because I think it's translated already. If it's not published, that means I did not, I, I forgot to publish it, because I remember very well some, somebody. But uh, Sex in Allah is not uh, translated yet for sure to Portuguese. Maybe you can translate those. Sure, so whichever one you choose, if you'd like, just... Yeah, six in Allah, uh, one and two. But when you're done, remember, you have to send them to me. I am the one only who can publish them. Sure, of course. I just meant... How, uh, for you. how is your Portuguese? Is it good? It's, uh, I'm a native. I'm Brazilian. I am Brazilian, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good. Today yeah, you're Brazilian. You, you see, my dad. I did not tell this story. I will next next book. I will I, I will report this in my book. My dad. He was hi, he was hijacking an airplane. You know. So when he arrived in the top of the uh, uh, Brazil, you know, uh, uh, he have a problem with the <laughs> with the airplane. So they told him, they advised him, you have to th throw some weight. <laughs> you throw me. <laughs> you know? They told him, you have to save yourself. You know, like, they said to him, throw anything does not have no value for you. So, you know, open the door, you know, he threw me. So that's uh, somebody saying there's an echo. Yeah, that's why I landed in, uh, uh, in Brazil. And this is why I eat Brazilian food too. Yeah. Well, all right, so I'm going to leave. I'm glad you're Brazilian today. Oh, okay. um, um, and so whatever you want me to translate, uh, just send me the PDF, and I'll send it back to you when it's done, of course. All right. Uh, okay, uh, text me in, uh, in Patreon, you know. Sure. No, we will see if we can do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Yeah, you guys don't believe this story, right? You don't believe it, right? Anyway, I did not tell you the rest of the story. So he threw me from the airplane. And when I landed, I landed one uh, foot in Brazil and the other foot in Sri Lanka. That's why I have two citizenship now, you know? Sri Lankan and Brazilian. I was lucky, actually, when I landed, my foot was in the top of an alligator in Brazil. 
and because of that you know i was like you know and then i saw an ant and i started talking to the ant i said where i am you know like i know where i am you know i have no idea so the ant she told me because allah he taught me the language of the ants as you know actually he taught me the language of the birds but i was able to speak to the ants at the same time and i was really surprised that uh, the brazilian ant she said christian prince like what the heck i was like how in the world she knew she said, your voice. I said, what the heck? How do you know my voice? Said, I hear it every day. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Even though the uh, ants are deaf, as you know. But it's a true story. It's from the Quran. You know. Yeah. <laughs> do we have any Muhammadan here when I tell us the blessing of Allah? Is it from the blessing of Allah that Adam here, he landed in Sri Lanka? Is that from the blessing of Allah and Eve? She landed in uh, <laughs> in in Jeddah and Saudi Arabia. <laughs> the Muslims, what kind of a blessing? Why Allah He sent Adam in Sri Lanka and how they met again? Huh? How how they met again? Any Muslim knew? You know the uh, the video of uh, Mufti Mink explaining how Adam, where Adam landed. Let us see. Here we go. <laughs> You can watch this video. It's called "Where Where, where on Earth uh, Now What Happened?" They started, they started looking for each other. other. I remember. Hold on, hold on. What happened to you two? But I'm just saying it is so, so beautiful, beautiful, maybe because, because the Sri Lankans have kept it there. Let's see. I don't know, YouTube is so slow. He came down in what is known as the Indo Pax subcontinent. Oh. He wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped, but Allah placed him on the earth. Where? Down to the earth. earth. He was, he was sent, sent to the earth. earth. There's a question from amongst those. Now, if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? Where, where? He was. He wasn't just thrown, so that suddenly he landed. Meaning no. He dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. Where? This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, where he says uh -huh. that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. Fil hind. He came down in what is known as the Indo Pax subcontinent. Precisely, <laughs> Sri Lanka. Pre precisely, Sri Lanka. <laughs> there is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. See, I mean, true story. So, Allah, He did not just throw Adam, He dropped him like we you know, parachute. No, no, no. He landed him, landed him. Where? In Sri Lanka. Who knows that? Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad he knew that. He came down in what is known as the Indo Pax subcontinent. Precisely. Sri Lanka. Precisely. It is from the blessing of Allah that Adam he landed in Sri Lanka and Eve she landed in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> there is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. Uh huh. If you go there, yeah, you will find it green and beautiful as mm. though it is not from this earth, but it is. Now we know why he sent him there because beautiful. But why Allah he sent uh, Eve to Jeddah in the desert? There's nothing there. I'm not trying to imply anything, but I'm just saying it is so beautiful, maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. But it's a beautiful place. It is. It is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't. There is a possibility. That's deep.
know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? Where, where? Hey. Jidda. Hey. Where is Jidda? Saudi Arabia. Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula. Really? Or you know today is Saudi Arabia. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of Jidda or Jadda or Judda? It means the grandmother. It is now we know why they call Jadda Jadda because the grandmother Eve, she landed there. <laughs> Named after her. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. <laughs> what happened? They started looking for each other. I remember, meaning, I can imagine, I'm just saying for myself, I can how, how they met together, hey, uh, Muslims. Look how the blessing of Allah work. So now Eve is in Jeddah and Adam in Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka is an island. You cannot even walk. You know, you have to swim to go to India. Sri Lanka is an island, full island. Imagine them thinking, I remember there was someone, you know, we had Hawa here, where is she? Let's start looking. And he started looking, subhanAllah. He started looking, Adam. If you picture it, you can imagine. And Adam, alayhi salam, began to walk. And he started walking towards where the sun was setting. He started walking towards the west. <laughs> That's a good one. So Adam, he found where Eve landed. By you going to the west? Well, let us go to the map. Shall we? I type in English. My text come in Arabic. All right. <clears throat> so he walked toward the west. Let us show you Sri Lanka. Just to show you the stupidity of Muhammad and, and the God of Islam. All right. This is Sri Lanka, the map. So imagine he start waking, walking to the west. <laughs> it's an island. <laughs> uh, he was starting where? Start walking to the west. What west? Same time the west is here. He was walking in the ocean. The Muslims, what do you mean? The, it is total island. It's not connected. You see the distance now we see in the map. This is a huge distance. This is not uh, like a, a few kilometers. So what do you mean he start walking? And let us say for the sake of argument, Sri Lanka is connected to India. How in the world he will go all the way and find her in Jeddah? Look where Jeddah is. <laughs> what happened what are you sure brother he start walking to the west really Salam began to walk and he started walking towards where the sun was setting he started walking towards the west huh? and Eve Hawa alayha salatu was salam as a female she didn't walk too much but she also tried to few kilometers you know females they cannot walk much Adam he can walk look for Adam alayhi salam no that does not mean that women are not interested no not, not at all, all, not at all. No, no, not at all. And according to what some of the historians have to say... Historian! Now, let, take a note, please. <laughs> according to some of the historian. <laughs> I like that. You know, the historian. Like, who are they, those historians? Abdul. The Abdul historian, it is hysteria. They met in Arafah, <coughs> and this is why where the white pillar is. The historians have made mention of, I haven't found it in a correct narration of things. Man, they met close to Mecca, brother. So Adam, look, Adam, I mean, his journey was easy to find. I mean, look, from all India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Thailand, Vietnam, 
Adam he decided to go in the area where it's the desert and he keep going keep going keep going he passed Pakistan Afghanistan Iran and uh, he go to Iraq and then he go to Syria and then he take left to Jordan and then he go to back to Saudi Arabia like what the heck that is so beautiful a story now I know why it's a blessing to be a Muslim because you believe anything they say to you even such a stupid foolish story and let us say he walked to the west I mean do you know how big Saudi Arabia it's almost the size of Europe do you know what the size of India what do you mean he walk How many years is going to take this guy to find his wife? This is if they are chatting. If they say she is, I'm here. Let me show. Let me show you a picture where I am. Still, so he can't find it because, I mean, oh, there's no names for the land. There's no names for street. There's nothing. This is Adam and Eve. How they can meet again? Do we have any Muhammadan? I'm the only Brazilian here. Anyone? So, brother and sisters, it's a blessing to be a Muslim. Can Christians ask questions? I'm not really in the mood to take uh, questions from Christians. You know, unless you are the guy who believes that the earth is a flat. In the other day, I have a guy, he is a Christian, supposedly, and he gets so upset because I don't believe that his uh, his dish is a circle. <laughs> I mean, the, this guy, he thinks that the, the earth is a, is a ring, you know? And that's it. The Bible says the earth is a, is a circle. He thinks that circle means a ring. <clears throat> oh, boy. And he was so upset because I don't believe that his dish is a is a circle. Uh, what the percentage of my knowledge when you read the four books? I mean, this is not about percentage. You know, in my in my books, I put what is good to convince a person how stupid Islam is. Otherwise, I did not put my knowledge in the four books. It's just what enough to prove a point for someone. Uh, even if you are a person who want to do, let us say, a PhD in Islam, you can use my books and you will get your PhD better than the. Actually, you know, once I I wanted to do a PhD, and there's a Christian brother. He communicate me, and I told him, don't tell them this university. Don't tell them anything like who I am, you know. I just want to be as a normal person, you know. Uh, don't tell them. So anyway, I spoke to this guy who is in charge of, uh, uh, you know, like religious study. He said to me, to be honest with you, I mean, this is a doctor supposedly who want to give me the PhD. He told me, uh, I don't know much about Islam, but, I, you know, your friend always, he sent me a link. Uh, videos of a friend of his friend and uh, I learned everything about Islam from him actually he have a voice like yours <laughs> so <laughs> the guy would have give me PhD is learning from me so I found it that's very silly I mean what PhD I mean it's just a joke you know is uh, yeah the guy he want to give me PhD but he, he is learning about Islam from me uh, yeah it's the same guy who contacted him because they want to give me a discount, like a kind of a scholarship, but like partial, like not full scholarship. Like, you know, like they will cut a big part of the, you know, a good discount, but still it's very expensive. So I said to myself, it's not worth it. You know, what I will do with it anyway. All right. Do we have any Muhammadan?
anyone but you know people they like titles like if you say a doctor etc you know they like title people they love title right they worship titles But, you know, knowledge had nothing to do with degrees. And this is what life taught me. Usually degrees, uh, to, to help you in work, business, uh, profession, you know. But not necessarily knowledge. Like a doctor, he might be knowledgeable about his field, but he is mostly ignorant about anything else. Knowledge is something different from profession. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan would like to join us? My Discord is listed. You can click and join us and you can bring victory to Allah. And you know, for me, I can be a doctor in two seconds. I do not need even to study medicine. I just read, I, I know all the hadith of a prophet Muhammad. And I know the most effective way to heal people from any disease. Like one, there's one thing, you know. One, one thing. Can heal any disease, any, anything. Just one. Look at this. I heard message of Allah saying that healing is in black cumin. Nagla seed. For all diseases except death. <laughs> Since when death is disease, Abdul? Death is disease? I mean, this is a medicine for anything. Just buy Nagla seed. You can go to Amazon purchase it. That's it. Except death. After you die, you give you necklace seed. By the way, it doesn't work. Disclaimer, disclaimer. After you die, if we give you necklace seed, it doesn't work. Disclaimer. Prophet Muhammad did not say bring you back from, from death. No, 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 no. But it healed anything, anything. Oh boy. So you see, like here we go, all of you now became doctors in two seconds. Do you know to go to school? You know, like when we have Corona, I just took work neglacy. People were dying around me, left and right. You know, the chicken of the neighbor should die from Corona. You know, the question, you know, they listed car anything and die in the time of Corona, they listed that Corona, even if it died by car accident, you know, just to scare the hell of people. So like, chicken died, you know, okay, Corona. But I didn't want to share with them the secret about an ugly seed, you know. I was hoping that the only one I will stay in the neighborhood alive, everybody would die, you know. Yeah. What about hair loose? <laughs> My friend, if you lose hair, it's okay. It's a good sign that you are smart. You are using too much calcium in your head, in your brain. Uh, like, have you ever heard of a donkey is uh, is uh, is bald? No. Uh, but negla seed can help anything. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It can grow your hair. Can grow your nose. Can fix anything. Just eat negla seed, my friend. I'm serious. I know a guy. He's he, he was in the in the ocean. All right. This is a true story, by the way. Uh, he was in the ocean, and then a big whale hit his boat. And the, the, the boat now have a hole in it, which means what? Dying. It's not dead yet. Dying. The guy, he put Nagla seed in the a boat. The Nagla seed grows so fast and grows the hole and make like a, a piece of wood. And he was able to survive the hole in the, uh, you know, in the ocean. And this is a true story. I know those stories are hard to believe, you know. But if I say to you, Prophet Muhammad said it, you believe right away, right, Abdul? Hmm? 
The second I say, Prophet Muhammad says so. Like, you know, I, I, and two days ago, the guy, he called me. I said, I have my grandfather. He died standing, etc. He said, this is a stupid story. You know, who's going to believe in such a story? The second I say this in the Quran, <laughs> he said, hey, let me explain to you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like a second ago, it was a stupid story. The second I said it's in the Quran, he said, let me explain to you. What's wrong with it? <laughs> a bunch of potatoes. It's a blessing. Islam is a blessing. Yeah, Islam is a blessing. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul? Huh? Any flying carpet? Uh, the word the, the Islamic translation is stupid so sometimes they don't translate the Arabic word because maybe they don't know what it's mean so supposedly Sam is death but I don't I don't agree with that uh, it like it's like uh, uh, let us say It's like someone who passed the time of living. That's it, you know. Like uh, it's your time is over. You expired. Do we have any Abdul? No customers. It's okay. It's good to hear you guys. I mean, I hear you. <laughs> I'm not hearing anyone. I can hear you, by the way. I just to let you know, we are up, we can hear anything. Anything. I'm serious. Like Prophet Muhammad, he was hearing things nobody hear. The genie speak to him, Prophet Muhammad speak to the genie, and the Muslims, Abdul, around Muhammad, none of them heard anything. Special, special person. He have a special reception. Do we have any Abdul? So imagine how blessing to be a Muslim. We live in this. So why you Muslim go to the hospital and see doctors? If Islam is the blessing, here we go. Get the blessing. When you get sick, don't go to the doctor. Huh? Why you go to the doctor? Chapter of healing sickness with the black seed. It can heal anything, anything, any problem. Your private part is not working. Your wife, she is complaining. You cannot make babies. Nagla seed. Uh, you are not strong in kickboxing. Nagla seed. Uh, let us say uh, you fart a lot. Nagla seed. You, you, you cannot go to the bathroom. Nagla seed. You have the area and the opposite. Nagla seed. I mean, anything, anything, any, any, any illness. Just name it, you know. Name it, name it. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? If you join us, you will get necklace seat for free. Any Muslim? Let us say you are weak and you think you cannot debate Christian Prince. Eat necklace seat and you will see what will happen. You will become Superman. The story of the Negla Seed reminds me of Popeye. You know Popeye? The cartoon? The guy who eat the spinach? And then his uh, muscles, they start bobbing up from his uh, arms? Huh? I'm not sure if he was eating spinach for real. Maybe there is a Negla Seed in there. I'm not sure, really. Sound fishy. His name is Popeye. In the Middle East, we call him Popeye. You know? Anyway, we speak English better than you, as you know. We are the Arab. We are the first one who created English. In fact, as I know, that the first English man was from English, English Sistan. Uh, all right. Any Muhammad that would like to join us? Mm. No customers. It's okay, it's okay. 
neglected. True Islam and Quran fast fact, how you can get to me? Join us in Discord if you are a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, you can come in Discord and talk to me. By the way, if any of you have any problem, health problem, just let me know. I can send you one. I cannot send you more than two neglect seed disclaimer. Like as an example, there is one. Uh, he was like 120 years old. And like hardly he can really walk, you know, he's getting really old. So he told me if there is any solution. I said, sure, you know. So I gave him by mistake, you know, I was a, like, a, let's say, generous with him. So I sent him, I sent him a three neglect seed. He ate the first one, he became 30. Now this guy got greedy. He ate the second one, he become 15. He ate the third one, he go back to his mother womb. He called me from there, he have his cell phone in his hand when he ate the, the third one. He called me, BB! You know, I heard, I said, well, your voice hard, I cannot hear you, man, where are you? He said, I am in my mother womb. I said, what, like, your mother is dead, how, how you can go there, <laughs> you know? He said, I didn't know, it's alhamdulillah, you know? The, uh, I said, how how this happen? He said, I ate a three neglect seed. All right, we have a Muslim maybe, I don't know. Any Abdul? Uh, Ali is not a Muslim. I thought he's a Muslim. Hello, Ali. <coughs> Are you there? Hello. Yes, my friend. You are not you a Muslim. You are not a Muslim, right? I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Shia. Yeah. I'm ex-Muslim. Oh, you're ex-Muslim. So uh, now. I was debate with. Uh, uh, your voice, uh, your voice uh, is cutting. So you were Shia, and now you become a Christian. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I was debating with uh, Islam education. Yeah. Yeah, Islam education. He, you know, yeah, I know him. Yeah, stop using the internet of the neighbors, man. Yeah. Islam Iran has a terrible internet. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm just joking with you. It's okay. Yeah. Well, maybe you can fix your internet. Fix your internet and try to come back to me because uh, <laughs> I have a hard time to hear you. All right? Try to fix your internet. Maybe close all the application and come back. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Oh, I forgot to give him a regular seat for the internet. <laughs> you know, mistake. It's my mistake. Too late now. What we can do? Just one regular seat. Your internet will become so powerful. You know? Uh, like many people, they have many problems in their life. Like, uh, there's a guy, his wife, she is getting old. And he ate regular seed. So now he's young. And he was desperate for one more regular seed so he can make his wife uh, young. I told him, you know what, I cannot give you. Seriously, I mean, you guys are greedy, you know. Anyway, he offered me $10 million. True story, by the way. I said, you know what, $10 million compared to what I will give you is nothing. He said, what do you mean? It's $10 million. I said, now, look, look, you will have a brand new wife. She is so young and she can do belly dancing for you. And you are telling me $10 million. What I would do with this ten million dollars, you know? I mean, seriously. So the guys, you know, like he said, he, and we negotiated. So we have a new deal. He agreed to give me ten million dollars and ten cents, and then I agreed. I said, now the money is good, you know. Ten million dollars and ten cents—that makes sense. Otherwise, ten million dollars alone was not really a good deal. So you know, I gave him the necklace seed. His wife now, she became five years old. And he named her Aisha. <clears throat> All right. 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Truly, truly, guys, you don't, don't like, you like the stories I'm telling you? All of those stories are documented by the historian, as Mufti Minki said. Historian, who is the one who finds those information? Historian. Where the white pillar is, the historians have made mention of, I haven't found it in the correct narration, authentic narration. <laughs> who is the one who find that Adam and Eve, they met in Mecca? Historian. Historians have made mention of, I haven't found it in the correct narration. I mean, seriously, it's historian, man. Met in Arafah, and this is why, where the white, white pillar is, the historians have made mention of, I haven't found it in the correct narration of... Historian, they found that. Historian, they were there. Adam, when he met Eve in Arafah, he got his uh, copybook, in, uh, and he posted in Facebook, and he told the historian who came after him thousands of years that I met her there, the historian. Mm, yeah, historian from Pakistan. Get the breath. First of all, we are the first historian in the world. It's as I can make what for us historian. <laughs> you are hilarious. By the way, why you why you cannot have a beard like Mufti Mink? What's the problem? Get the breath. First of all. Move the man in beard is not real. He is using it for fertilizer. What fertilizer? What are you talking about? Move the man is using fertilizer. Okay, you do the same. Get the breath. I refuse to treat because this is a treating. Okay, what about you eating a glass seed? <laughs> that can fix your beard. I mean, you are now 60 years old. And still, there's no beard, man. After all those years, you never shave it. Still, there's a few hair there. Eat a glass seed and we want to grow like a carpet. Get the breath. First of all, make the seed for all the disease. And my beard have no disease. Oh, okay. You got a the point there. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? <laughs> no Abdul? <laughs> Nobody want to have a blessing from Allah? No? Are you serious? Seriously. Nobody want to explain to us why it's a blessing from Allah to have uh, to be a Muslim? Huh? Uh, I never saw a Muslim is happy. They are always angry, upset, shouting, screaming. Uh, you know, the they cannot even feel secure. They have bars over their windows. Women, they have to wear a burqa because he's worried that people will see her. He go to picnic, his wife, she have to cover. He look around him, who is looking at my wife? He go to the beach, he cannot swim because his wife cannot swim. She is wearing burqa. If she wear a burqa and jump in the water, the clothes will be stuck in her body and you will see every single details. Seriously. I mean, how you can enjoy life and you're like, you are worried about everything. There's nobody, nobody is worried in life as Muslim. Even Aisha, she said, that there's no women, believing women, nobody suffer as a believing woman. Why? Because Muslim keep beating them. I never saw a woman suffering as a believing woman, Aisha, she said. And this is because Muslim women, they could, their husband keep beating them. So she said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a Muslim woman. Do you see it? I'm not making things up. However, we have to be honest. A believing woman, she eat nagla seed, all her problems is solved. And the green spot from beating in her skin will go in a second. So what husband, Muslim husband do, they beat their wife, yes, but right away they give them necklace seed because they almost die, you know? Like we beat them, beat them, beat them, beat them. 
before they die, push one nugget seed in her mouth. And right away, she will become like a horse and she will kick you on your belly, if not your balls, in the worst scenario. I don't want to imagine that. That hurt. Oh boy. I think this is the only blessing for Muslim women. They have no balls. Do we have any Abdul? But remember, actually, according to the Quran, Muslim women, they have balls. The, the, the breast of women are balls. According to the Quran, women, they have breast testicles. They have semen, and their semen coming from their chest area, specifically the ribs. That's why, you know, like we, we men, they lie to us. They told us, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, women, they have a breast and those stuff. No, 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 not true. Where is Ibn Kathir? Let's see Ibn Kathir. Uh, I am not a Muslim, but I want to ask if I can arrange a future debate for my friend with the Christian Prince. There's no need to arrange. Just bring your friend and let him jump here. What arrange? I'm always ready. No need to be arranging anything. You do not even need to tell me the topic. Let him call me. So if we go to Ibn Kathir, <coughs> all right, and this is the Quran. وَيَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَابِ Where is the tafsir? What the heck? I thought this is tafsir here. There is no tafsir. How to find tafsir in this website? Hadith, Quran, history. I thought this website have tafsir, don't they? Uh -huh. Looks like they don't. All right, let's find Ibn Kathir in different place. No problem. So you do not need to schedule for a debate. I don't schedule. I don't care for, you know, I do not need to get ready. I'm always ready. Let your friend call me and he will be more, more than happy. Let him eat necklace seed and call me. Ibn Kathir, let us see. All right, let us see here. Ibn Kathir. What a stupid website. Some websites are really stupid design. Horrible. We are looking for the website. They are showing us Vine. Oh boy. Okay, give me a second. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Just to show you how it's a blessing to be a Muslim, it turned to be if you are a Muslim woman, you have a breast testicles and you have a sperm and semen. How Prophet Muhammad knew this? If he is not sent from the true God. Let us be honest here. Huh? How Prophet Muhammad knew this? Only, only if you are a true prophet of God, you will be able to know this. No problem. We can go and we can do it in Skype. No problem. 
But what difference is going to make? He can come to Discord. Does it make any difference? He do not need to make an account. He can just click at the uh, my uh, server website and he can join. Usually, people who make too much noise about debating, they don't debate. It's like the guy talking too much about how to to do kickboxing, but he will never kick. And he will never do boxing. All right. Yeah, no, I mean, all those websites not working. I'm trying to open the Blinkist here. It says, wait, exit the page. Something wrong with it. Reload. What a weird website. Something wrong with it. Okay. <laughs> All right. What a stupid website. But anyway, we have no choice but to use it. Let us go here. So now if we go here to chapter 86, You will see here it says the following. He created uh, he created the from water gushing forth. This is verse number six and seven. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. What does that mean? Let us read together. Where where is the they took it off? Hold on. They jumped to the end. Here we go. Okay, look at the human being, how is he created? All right, and then he says, he is created from water uh, gushing forth, meaning sexual fluid that come out, bursting forth, out of the body, remember, from the men and the women. Thus the child produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Now here, يَخْرُجُ مِنَ بَيْنَ الصُّلْبِ وَالطَّرَائِبِ Meaning the backbone or the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. <laughs> Do you see it? <clears throat> it's a blessing of Allah to become highly educated in medical science if you are a Muslim. Any Abdul? Anyone? Any Muslim would like to join us? May they, may they. So the woman she have a semen and the man have a semen and Muhammad explained that the water of the women is yellow because all the women he slept with obviously they have uh, infection. Babs, the mic is yours. Go ahead. Um, yeah, hey, hey, Christian. Christian. Sorry. Sorry. I just, I just wanted, wanted to ask, to ask if, um, um, because, because I have, I have a, friend a friend in Egypt, Egypt and, and I've been, been discussing about, about Islam, Islam for a very long time. time. Okay. Um, she, she told me that her uncle is a shaykh in right. Egypt, and I was wondering, wondering if, if like, um, you were willing to speak to them, so maybe from from that conversation, my friend can do this now. No problem. Just let the guy yeah. call me. No problem. Now, if you want um, to. Also, I've been looking for like your books. Like, do you have them translated in Arabic? No, in Arabic, I don't have any. Oh. Because I've been trying to find a way that I can reach 
you know, yeah, Arab, Arab, Arab speakers. speakers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, anyway, just uh, anyone you think he would like to debate me, no problem. And uh, yeah. and the more knowledgeable is better for me, you know. Um, that will make it they, easier. Like how this code they can use. If yeah, if that so, necessarily, you know, I will be live on air in Discord. Yeah. If you, you just tell me he is here ready. If you could not get in Discord, I will open Skype just for him. Um, do you, do you mind, mind if it could, could be in Arabic? Arabic because I'm not sure, sure if the English, English is fully. Good. Well, uh, is your friend? Is the, do she speak English? You said you have a friend, his daughter, his uncle. I don't know she what who she. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's her uncle. She can translate. She can. She can translate. He can speak Arabic. And then yeah. she translate what he said, and then I speak Arabic, and at the same time I will translate what I said in English. Okay. If he speak oh. English, is even better. If he speak both, you know, yeah. that will be better. There's no need for anyone to translate. He can speak in English. However, if he don't English. speak English, he can speak in Arabic, and uh, just to give him a chance that. Uh, like so, he will not say I'm giving false translation. You know for what he said. He can yeah, use uh, the the lady there. She can translate for what the sheikh said. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. much. You're welcome. Do we have any Abdul would like to join us? Anyone? Uh, jihadi crusader saying, doesn't the verse that says God is God of all the flesh disapprove the Trinity because one part of the Trinity become a flesh? Uh, that's a very silly of you. First of all, Jesus said before Abraham, I am, and I was with my father before all the world. So he is exists before the flesh, and he is the creator of the flesh, and you are stupid. Like your father Muhammad. I was with your father before the world was. And your Quran confirmed that Jesus is the word of God. Your, your false prophet is copying John chapter 1, verse number 1, and verse 14. So the Messiah is Kalimatullah al Qaha ila Maryam is the word of Allah sent down to Mary and this is in total copy of what the Bible says in John chapter 1 and if we ask Muslims is the word of Allah created they will say no and that means the Islam do not believe in divine monotheism they believe in many monotheism there's the monotheist God Allah there's the monotheist God the word there's the monotheist God Quran Quran is not created the word of Allah not created, Allah not created. You have a three, and a created divine. All right? Do we have any Muhammadan here dare to call us? The existence of the flesh of Jesus have nothing to do with his existence. That's why he said before, Abraham I am. So he exists and he said, Abraham saw my day and he rejoiced for it. So his existence have nothing to do with the day of his birth. The date of his birth is not the time where Jesus came to existence. But Muhammadan are desperate poor looking for any excuse. The Muslims speak about logic when he believe in a flying carpet. His penis will be endless. His wife's butt will be one mile, which is very small, you know, if you ask me. I mean, what kind of God does God is? He make it only one. What you will lose? Make it 72 mile. I mean, why you are so cheap? And then the Muslim, he tried to be logical, supposedly. And by the way, when you say that God is the Lord of all the flesh, isn't it your God Allah have a flesh? Isn't it your God Allah have a shin, he have a hand, he have five fingers, 
you have a face, you have an ass. May Allah ask you. So the Muslim, when he shoot, he shoot at his balls. He think it is the balls of somebody else. Because his balls are so tiny, you know, he think he's just shot a mulberry. Who is a Muslim? You have a big balls to call me. I don't like to speak of language of bulls, but this is what you Muslim like. You have a Muslim historian, his name Ibn Battuta. Ibn Battuta, who is a Muslim historian, he found an island have it women only. The island have no men, only women. And in this island, women have three boobs. In Arafa. And this is why, why where the white, white pillar is. is. The historians have made mention of, I haven't found it in the correct narration, authentic narration. The historian, the historian, they mentioned that. <laughs> Muslim historian are the best historian in the world. He found an island, all of it is women. Do you know the address? Like, do I need a visa to go there? Muslim, which island is that island? There's only women there. And they have three boobs. Ahmudu, put your hand up again. I did not see it. Put your hand up. I will, I will invite you if you are a Muslim. <coughs> Make a request again, Ahmudu. Do we have any have Muhammadan would like to join us? May they, may they? Anyone? Nobody? What happened? What happened? What is the problem? <clears throat> is it possible to reach you personally anytime? I don't know what does that mean. What do you mean personally? I'm very conservative Muslim. I talk only to females. Haram to talk to male. Haram. I want to talk to females and teach them how to do ablution in the swimming pool, which have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage. Is that okay? We are Muslims. It's haram to see the women here, but we can suck their breast. And a Muslim talking about the Trinity. <laughs> he have no problem his wife giving her boobs <laughs> to a stranger. And he's a logical, you know, it's logical, you know. It's all about logic. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? All right, I'm not going to keep you long, actually. I was working physical work today for many hours, so I'm a little bit, uh, little bit tired, not too much tired. I just finished, actually. Just before I go, I took, I took a shower, my annual shower, you know. And... Uh, uh, <clears throat> I lost a lot of weight after the shower. Hey, I don't know, 15 kilograms. Good some breath. I told you, you are very dirty. He's like, I'm uh, quite dirty, what a clean. Your prophet, he takes a shower in the sewage, man. What are you talking about? Good some breath. What your mouth? I don't think yourself. He could, oh, just respect yourself. I mean, isn't it your prophet? He took a shower, Ribidah. Christian Prince, first of all, you don't speak Arabic. Like, what the heck? So, what is I'm speaking right now? All in a little bit, bit what you are saying. But no, Allah knows best what I'm saying. I'm speaking Arabic, man, and this is Arabic hadith. Here we go. It says, 
You're a prophet. He take a shower. He take a pollution with dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage. Even there it says in the hadith, it's a stinky, stinky. You know what is stinky? I mean, you Muslim, you Muslim in translation. It says stinky. Look, look. This is your Muslim translation saying stinky, stinky. Get some breath. The only one is thinking they think of you. Like what is thinking of you? It says here in front of this is the hadith. Huh? This is how prophet of God he do ablution. Habibi. Get some breath. First of all, a prophet of Allah he said that water is only pure and nothing make it impure. So why you must make a big noise about the water and in Bangladesh is not clean and you put the news in the newspaper complain about the government if water is always clean pure drink it even if it's coming from the sewage like hello get the prince first of all uh, prophet of Allah never lie and according to the laboratory if that would not be the of Harvard they say that water is only pure and nothing make it divine new pure so according to the laboratory of Harvard <laughs> They said that water is always pure and nothing make it not pure. Exactly. Do you have any proof? Good and breath. Give me five minutes. I'm going to write an article and put it for you online. Okay, just an article. You said to me, Harvard, a second ago. Brother Luther, I'm going to ask Muslim friend from Harvard University to make an article. Abdul, don't give me Abdul saying what Abdul say. Give me, give me. I mean, <laughs> hey Muslims, what the heck is that? And you are worried about the treaty, you're not worried about the prophet taking taking shower with dead dogs and women of blood of a period? Are you serious? Huh? What do you think about getting tattoo? Is that okay? Sure, sure. I mean cow they have stamps on their skin. You can get a stamp like a like a cow. Why do you think you're a cow? Why you wanna get a tattoo? Hmm. What for? What tattoo for? You put it there. Ten years after you wish you did not take it, you cannot take it away. Your skin will look ugly. If you are a female, you will look more ugly too. I mean, you look at a girl, you know, she is, you know, she is like maybe good looking, etc. And then tattoo in her neck, tattoo in her chest, tattoo in her shoulder, tattoo in her foot, tattoo in her nose, tattoo in, you know, you know, change your name, call it tattoo. Why do you want to do that? Tattoo is something people do when they have vacuum inside them emptiness you know they are bored they don't know what to do so they start working in their skin and they stamp 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 and then when the all the skin became like a map they start stamping their 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 tongue and then they start putting needles and they put ring in the ear and ring in the nose and ring in the toes and ring in the vagina and ring in the penis and ring in the belly bum keep doing keep going you are doing the right thing I know. I know many of you maybe have that too already. I'm just telling you, I don't sugarcoat things. I'm just telling you what I believe. For me, when I see a man and or a woman having tattoo in their body, I know right away, even if they are now stable, I know this is a clear sign that in certain time in their life, they were very much in trouble. Very much lost. Tattoo is not an act of somebody is wise. And I'm just saying to you as it is. So when you are lost, when you have a vacuum inside you, when you have emptiness in your head, your brain, then we start thinking of getting yourself busy with silly stuff. Tattoo, drugs, uh, you know, rings, change the color, like, you know, you look, you look at women these days, they look like a parrot, you know. There's a, some hair is radish, the other hair is, I don't know, purple. The other side of the head is yellow. What the heck? What happened? Nagla seed, nagla seed. Oh boy. <clears throat> Yeah.
yeah an act of wisdom will stay away from those things because first they don't change your life they don't make it better same time you might change your mind later and there's no way you can take it and if you try to take it it's going to make your skin ugly they can cause cancer they can cause diseases they can transmit diseases like they go to those countries thailand god knows how many people they go through these needles this is the land where you know sex tourists and all kind of mad stuff right <clears throat> All right. If you don't like to hear words you don't like, don't ask me. I don't sugarcoat things. Is that fair? If you don't like to hear an answer will hurt you, hurt your feeling, don't ask me then. I don't care who you are, I just give you my honest answer. There's many things human being they do. It's a clear sign of empty brain. Empty brain, drinking, you know, keep drinking. Why you drink? Smoking, it's mean you are in trouble. Because you know that smoking is, is not good for your health. You will age fast. Your skin will die. Your brain will die. Uh, uh, your heart will die. Your blood. So why you smoke? You smoke. You're still smoking. That means you are in a you know in a time of a trouble where you cannot even control yourself. So you smoke, you drink, uh, uh, you know, you take drugs. Uh, wh where are you going? And all those things are created by mafia to steal your money. So the poor you, you are victim anyway. You are victim because you are not happy in life, right? So now you think you can fix it. Oh, I can go into smoke hashish. So you, you feel better for five minutes, but then you cry the whole day. And then you will not be able to breathe. And then you will have cancer. And then, you know, I mean, it's a madness. So human being, what make a human being different from animal? That he is more stupid than animals sometimes. The animals don't smoke. Have you ever seen a donkey smoking? No. Have you ever heard of a donkey taking hashish and drugs? No. Have you ever heard of a donkey putting a tattoo? No. So donkeys are smarter than you. Those animals, they make sense when they act. A human being, he don't make sense when he act. So supposedly we are the smart one but in fact, when we lose our sense, we act as the most stupid ones ever you can imagine. And sometimes, because we are angry from ourselves, we hurt ourselves in purpose. Like we know it's bad, so we do it. Anyway, I don't want to switch this uh, session to be uh, your shrink. Even though I know people, they like me to talk about those things. But I know that those things can hurt the fear of many people. But I, when I speak to you in such a truthful way, it's just to help you, not to hurt you. The target is not to hurt you. The target is to make you wake up. Okay, let's see if Ali, he fixed his uh, microphone. Is internet? Yes, Ali, go ahead. I guess I still he have a bad internet. Are you there, Ali? Yeah, I think he is still. Okay, Ali, will we, you know we'll fix it? I don't know. It's not working still. <coughs> You know, I never smoke a cigarette all my life. Can you believe it? I have a picture 
of me a unique picture. You know this uh, shisha? I was holding it, but I never smoked it. I have never smoked a cigarette, even though they try. Uh, uh, like many friends, etc. One, especially when you are a young teenage, you know, uh, they try to make you believe that if you don't smoke, you are the man. But you know, always I know who I am. I do not need a cigarette to make me look like a man. A man is not about how he look like; it's about how he act. So, if you are a foolish people, they can drive you down. They can take you down. You start smoking. You start drinking. You start doing hashish, drugs. Uh, you know, uh, sex parties, all kind of madness, and then you end nowhere. You will find yourself empty. You will find yourself being stupid, right? Some women, especially women, they think if they are smoking, they look more attractive. I will tell you my opinion. When a woman she smoke, she don't look. I don't want to. I don't want to say a, a words can be very aggressive, but I don't feel she is acting like a lady. First, she is acting like a man. You know. So you lose number one. You lose your fame. You don't look. Say what well, they use the word sexy. You don't look sexy. You look stupid, and you look like a man. And why in the world you you know why a man would be attracted to a woman? She smelled bad, and the smoke coming from her nose, from her ears, is like a chimney. And even her clothes will be smelling bad. I mean, who in the world is going to kiss you? Why you want to do it? Same for the man. Man is smoking. You became dangerous now when you smoke. You became a mafia guy. I'm scared when I see you smoking. Very intimidating. Uh, when you have a when you have a brain of a child, you act like one. Right? Exactly. You don't smoke. Use necklace seed. You will be good. <laughs> All right. Any behavior, anything, first is not biblical, is wrong. And we have verses against that too in the Bible. You can search them and you can find them. Number two, you don't own your body. Your body is a gift given to you from God. You give it to Him back as you receive it. So when you are harming your body, you are harming what, what God gave you. You don't own it. So why are you going to harm it? In the top of that, it doesn't help in anything. I mean, you can even reject it in the army if you have a bad tattoo. In the army, they have a department just, just to study tattoo. So if the tattoo can lead into a gang or something wrong, you know, they will not accept you in the army just because of a stupid tattoo. So now all your career can be messed up. You go, you do the... The medical exam. I remember when I joined the army, there was a guy, he had nothing wrong with him. You know, healthy, he's fine, I was accepted. He was rejected. And I he said, but you passed, uh, you know. He said, my tattoo. You know, they did not accept his tattoo. It turned to be, he put a tattoo, he did not know that this is a tattoo for a gang. You know, it's a gang. So they refused him. Uh, same for a job like even after you finish uh, you know let's say you go to apply when the boss will hire you he will look okay now we will hire him to be what a customer service what will we do this guy you have tattoos all over him you know where are we going to put him Anyway, uh, 
Yeah, if you have a tattoo, that's it, you're stuck with it. Even tattoo is a cross, as a cross is not right. Don't think that it is... I mean, I understand, like, you know, in the old days, uh, Bedouin, in the desert, or even some nations, they give their children a tattoo. Do you know why? Because they used to kidnap their children. So the child, when he kidnapped, even one day when he grow up, he will find out that the tattoo he have in his hand or shoulder resemble his tribe. So he will know where he is coming from. So even if he was kidnapped, in the future he will know he will go back. At that time, I would say, you know what, they have a good reason. It's not for fun. It's not for a look. It's not for... They have, they have a problem. Security, safety, uh, nation attack, nation, kidnapping each other, killing, you know. So when the child is born, right away they give a tattoo, and the tattoo resembles his tribe. So if the enemy attacked them one day and took the children's, one day this child, he will be aware of what is surrounding and he will learn about the tattoo he have and he will go back, seek his tribe back. In that scenario, I can say, okay, you know what? There is a good reason. But now for what? If you want to have a nice tattoo, pray to Allah to curse you and make you look like me. You will be known everywhere. <laughs> and people will look at you, you know, like right away. Actually, nobody will look at you. What are you talking about? I go in the elevator. I say, good morning. Nobody answer. They put their head down. Eh? Good morning. You know, Hello? Nobody answer. What's up with people? You know, they never saw something scary before. Hello? It's me you're looking for? Nobody answer. You know, what that do? It's not enough the you know what you how you look like. All right. <clears throat> look like today we don't have any customers. All right. So guys, I'm not going to give you long, I mean, get you long here. Why you don't go to TikTok? We are TikTok in here, don't see the bomb block, TikTok, TikTok. Well, I mean, guys, imagine, Trump, when he was a president, he wanted to ban TikTok. Now, he is saying TikTok, if we ban TikTok, we are banning freedom of speech. I mean, can, we, can you believe how stupid this guy is sometimes? I mean, this guy is the guy who came, it is a threat to us, national security, you know. Maybe he bought some shares there. <laughs> you know, I mean, hypocrites. Hypocrites and liars. 99% he bought some shares in TikTok and now he don't want it to be banned. I mean, how it was a threat to national security when he was a president and he want to ban it, and now they want to ban it, he is saying it is against the freedom of speech. And since when TikTok is a place of a freedom of speech, I made three videos there, they, they blocked me. Can you talk about some miracles you experience in your life? Me, my friend, me, look at me. I'm a miracle. <laughs> My mom, I asked my dad, my mom, which which day was my birthday? She said, "Son, I don't know which day, but oh, but I know it was a bad day." So I, what I talk, that's it. You know, this is a miracle. Miracle in my life, all your life is a miracle. Oh, you is a miracle, human being. If you look around you in your day, you will find that everything around you is a miracle. You do not need to experience certain miracle. Every day in your life is a miracle if you if you have a good vision. Your eyes seeing things is a miracle. Your tongue tasting food is a miracle. Your nose is smelling nice smell and even by the smell is a miracle. You are a miracle, my friend. For the God who made you himself is miracle. But we don't see it, you know, because people, they are born with it. They used to it. 
You always see things when you lose it. A man have hand, he don't appreciate his hand until somebody when they cut it. Accident, whatever. A man who walk, he don't appreciate his feet walking until one day he cannot walk. A man he can see, he don't appreciate his eyes until one day become blind. Everything around you is a miracle. When you are waiting for one, Could you make some videos, platform, Quran only? What Quran only? Quran only? Okay, anyway. We need hadith to make that. So hadith is like the spice for the Quran, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Quran only. <laughs> All right. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? I'm going to heaven, by the way. I have only one problem to go to heaven. I have to be white. Am I white enough? Because according to the Quran, you have to be white to enter the heaven of Allah. No black is allowed. No dark skin. No brown. Brown? There's a brown color? That's what they say in TV. I don't know. They say he's brown. You know, when I was studying English in the Middle East, they say, in our English, there's English textbook, it says, Mr. Brown, Mr. White. And I was saying, why those people, they have names of color? Mr. White and Mr. Brown. What about Mr. Blue? Anyway, I don't know. So anyway, Mr. Green, yeah. <clears throat> weird, I don't know. I mean, English names are weird, you know. But however, Allah, He like only one color, is white. All living beings inside His heaven, they have to be very white. Right? Any Abdul? All right, guys, I think we are done for today. Look like we don't have any Abdul. And, at, you know, at least we have a good time together. And we share some info and some good time. And uh, invite your friends next time. So you can have more uh, potatoes. And more tomatoes. And more, <coughs> you know, action. So until I see you next time, I say may the Lord bless you. And I will try to come tomorrow in the morning, drink coffee with you if I could. Until then, I say God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.